Welcome to the Old Boar's Mini Builds. These are beginner's tutorials on detailing using mods. And in this video, I'll be putting in this little office complex. And I'll show you the basics of RON, Network Multi-Tool, and some more basics on Move It. I decided to go ahead and remove the street names. You can find those in your game settings. So before I build out a new area, I'm going to use the layers that I gave you in a previous video. I'm first going to put in the hills. I'm using a brush size of about 400 and a brush strength of 0.01. So these are some basics of RON. I want to get these train tracks changed out. So highlight over your network that you want to change out. This is the RON mod. This is the track you're going to replace, and that's what you're replacing it with. And it shows you an icon. I'm replacing it with Railway 2 Train Networks. And just hit Replace All. I usually uninstall the mod when I'm done. So now I'm going to go back through the area with a brush size of about 100 and accentuate these little hills that are in the center here. And switching on and off my terrain contours, I'm gonna take the forest brush and draw over those so that I know where to put my roads in. I'm going to extend my little collector road all the way over here. When you're coming into a train track, you don't want to come straight in from a curve. Come out of the train track with a little stretch of road, and then bring your other road to it. This is the network multi-tool, and I'm going to use create curve mode, and then I'm going to use arrange it line mode. I'm going to show you two of these icons in this mod. I usually use add and remove nodes, the slope tool, the curve tool, and the arrange it line tool. This is the curve tool. And this is the arrange it line tool. You can see how clean it made that curve. I'm going to build a little grid. You can see what it looks like here. And I've taken my roads and gone around those little hills that have the trees on them. So now let's build the office park. I'm going to stretch out a few roads to put the buildings on. I'll put the roads at an angle so they look more realistic. This is the entrance gate. Really nice assets. I'm going to use my tag and then within that tag I'm going to search for the business. Which is what these assets are named. I take time to move those around to get them just the way I want. This building has a drive underneath. And I want to move this building. I'm going to put in this little skyway here. Now I'm going to need two of those. 
So I'm going to place the asset down and then with move it, I'm going to hit Alt plus the arrow keys to move those into place. Control with the arrow keys makes it turn slightly. Just some little tips to help you get more control over moving your assets. These are some other nice office buildings I'm going to put in the same area. Eventually I'll have to put in a little university. These offices require highly educated employees. And I'm just paging up and paging down with Move It, making those roads bend up a little bit. Now I'm placing human planted foliage to get a little bit more detail around these areas. Now I'll put in my large grass. I'm holding down on the right mouse button to turn those assets slightly. Now I'll put in my forest patch. I really like this set of assets. Now I'm popping some flowers. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush size, raise these hills up just a little bit so that I can create a few mini scenes. Once you get all your buildings and your roads laid in, those hills add a lot of detail. This is the selector tool within MoveIt. You can select several assets at one time. I'm trying to decide on where I want my parking lot. I could have selected all those. I just decided to move them so I could place them exactly where I want. This asset is called Parking Lot Roads. I'm going to upgrade this center road for the parking lot. Now we're going to put in the parking lot lines. The cars will park in these. Here's a few tips. Put in your handicap and your electric car parking first. You can see that these don't quite line up. So plop this down first, then undo it with Control Z and it becomes fluid again and you can move it exactly where you want it. And I'm going to butt those lines up right next to that handicap parking. Place it on the right side and the left. Then put your last space in there. And these aren't quietly lined up, so I'm going to use Move It to line those up. I have a little gap on the end, but I'm good with it. These are assets that come with the Shopping Malls DLC. You can see that the trees are coming up through them.
So I'm just going to move those out of the way and using the selector tool and move it, I'm going to stretch it out over this area and move those out of the way. And I'll use Alt arrow keys to move those into place. And I'm using Control arrow keys to turn that building slightly. Now some human planted foliage. I'm not liking the color of the pathways and the curbs in my game. I may end up having to use Theme Mixer to get those just right. They're a little too white for me. When selecting a network with Move It, you can hold down on Alt and straighten those up. These little assets have an alternative asset. You just click the one you want. Now I'll use these terrain conforming rocks to make my mini scene. I'm using the comma key to make that asset smaller. Adds a really nice touch to this area. It takes quite a bit of time to find the right assets for your build and then it takes more time to learn what those assets look like and how they work in game, but the end results are really satisfying. I have another little tag that are just trees and now I'm using the line tool to stretch those out in a line. This little tree tag has some trees that are just a little bit different that I use in these final details. So that's our new little office complex. It lacks a few more little props. And I want to check back to make sure cars are actually parking in the parking lot. I have a little set of signs here, which is just one more little prop that adds some special detail. Once you have your prop, hold down on your right mouse button, move it back and forth to turn it correctly. This is a little clearance sign that comes with the Starbucks, but I decided not to use it. So 
I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you for watching the Old Boar Play City Skylines. Take care now.